Okay, see if this is working. Okay, so am I live? Can can anybody see my live stream? Are we working? Wow, there's a huge, huge truck outside my house reversing down the lane. That's really weird. Can you guys take a drink? Okay, cool. Hey, can anyone hear me? If anyone can hear me, give me a thumbs up in the chat. Hey everyone, how's it going? Hey Rach, Ellie, Nicole, Ty. How are we all? Hello. Hey, cool. Okay, cool, we're getting thumbs up. This is nice, nice stuff. Okay, cool. So, how are we all doing on this awesome, awesome evening? Patrick, I'm there. Damn, GTM56, lol. Ah, hello. Sen Sengu Senjin? Chase, Russell, Ellie, hey, how's it going? Hey. Good to have you all here. Lovely to see everybody in here. How many people have we got in here right now? I'm just having a look. Uh, I can't actually see how many people are in the chat, but it's crazy. The chat is crazy. It's off the charts. Okay, cool. So we're going to go um, just wait a little while just so everyone gets the notifications. And maybe we'll share this as well on some other social media just so we can, uh, you know, have that... Um, just so we can have this uh, promotion out right now for this. So if you're new to my live streams, then hello and welcome. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to have a lot of fun here now just doing like a live stream with you guys. Um, and we're going to talk about autism meltdowns, preventions and things like that because I know a lot of people um, are affected by meltdowns. Uh, so I thought what, what best to do it in a live stream where we talk about specifically those and how we can kind of like overcome those, which is going to be awesome. We'll have like a little... Um, uh, like a discussion part as well, which is going to be super dope. Um, I'm just going to share the stream out. Can anyone see? Okay, so I'm just making sure everyone can see me okay, because it seems a bit weird that, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like talking, but I'm using a different software today. So if, so if the stream goes a bit weird, uh, I do apologize. Okay, so it's shared. I'm just sharing on Reddit. If you guys want to share it on any of the social media or social network, please be my guest. I won't be offended. Actually, we really... It'll be really helpful for me as well. My fiance was recently diagnosed 24. Any advice? Um, my advice is that read as much as you can on the subject, learn as much as you can on the subject. It's unusual when um, when you first start uh, going into um, you know understanding a diagnosis. It's really difficult to. I don't know if you've never if if you're brand new diagnosed it's very scary because you go like oh my goodness you know what's going to happen what's going to happen um, you know does this change anything and it's nothing is scary nothing changes it's just that you have to um, learn about it and understand it because it's something different to what you're normally used to so if you're used to you know if you're not used to having um, a diagnosis or something it is kind of scary I remember when I was first diagnosed with um, with Asperger's syndrome it was really weird um, and I just found it really bizarre like I couldn't. I couldn't think about it probably because I'd never ever um, thought about you know Asperger's syndrome or anything and I didn't really know about it so I felt like it was kind of like a, an unusual thing for me but that being said um, it was a weird feeling but kind of like a cool feeling because I was like oh well I've got this diagnosis now and um, you know you kind of feel uh, a, a sense of relief because you know for years I was like struggling walking around kind of didn't know what I was doing and didn't know who I was really in terms of like you know medicine and, and things like that um, so it was nice to have um, a diagnosis to put on paper where I was like, okay, this is this is who I am, this is me, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I thought that was kind of cool. So kind of embrace it straight away. Go look for some information on it, and um, see see how you get on. But let me know how you get on as well, because this is always awesome. Where are we now? I'm a single mother, seven year old boy with autism. Your tips really help us. Cool. When I was four, I was diagnosed with gifted, which was pretty similar to autism. No way. To Excuse me. <clears throat> Two years ago, I had no idea what autism was. Same for me. I understand it. When, uh, hi, my partner has Asperger's syndrome. Uh, I recently had a meltdown at work, and I was wondering if you could talk about getting overwhelmed at work. Okay, cool. We, we can talk about that. Who doesn't mean to be successful? Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Having got down? Okay. Congratulations, fifty k. Thank you so much. Yeah, we hit fifty k on this channel, um, which was crazy. Fifty uh, k was nuts. Like I've. Um, I, I started this thing um, last year um, when I in I think it was uh, November two thousand and seventeen. I said I wanted to get a um, hundred thousand subscribers by the end of two thousand eighteen, or well by yeah by the by, by January two thousand nineteen, basically. But <clears throat> excuse me, 
I really wanted to do this. So I, I had maybe about 12 to 13,000 subscribers at the time. And I did it, and we, we've, we've rocked it right up to 50,000 right now, which is crazy, crazy good. And I'm super, super pumped about it. And everyone should be really, really like happy with the fact that we managed to grow this channel to 50K. It's nuts. YouTube actually gave us a shout out on Twitter to say that we'd done really, really well. Uh, and that they they were like really happy about the fact that we hit 50k and that was kind of really nice so yeah big up from youtube there sending a tweet out about the aspie world you know coming at ya which was really really awesome hey dan congrats 50k thank you so much marion black um i donated by the way yay thank you so much for donating it's really cool if you guys want to donate anything um there is a donate button you can do it via super chat um what will happen if you get to 100,000 subscribers? Do you have any special? Do you have any any special? Right, yes. Yeah, so 100,000 subscribers. Gonna we're well, gonna do a few things. So when I get my channel to 100,000 subscribers, which is gonna happen, um, I'm gonna throw a 100,000 subscriber party. And when I do this, it's gonna be a um, it's gonna be an event somewhere in the UK. Um, and I'm gonna probably invite you guys all down um, to you know to come and join in in the in the event it'll be like a like a party kind of thing there's also going to be a video a 100k video that I'm going to put up which is going to be very interesting um, and then I want to do a tour of the US um, like a meet and greet tour of the US so I can like meet all of you guys and everything so yeah there's there's a lot of cool things happening Hey, how's it going? Also, Asperger's and gaming. That yes, Asperger's and gaming. Something very, very interesting. Um, been talking about setting up my gaming channel again and doing streams, uh, Twitch and uh, Discord stuff. So uh, I will be talking about that very soon, but not in this video. Uh, what kind of party? The party will be like a. It won't be a party. It'll be like a like a, a meet up, get together thing. It's not going to be like crazy loud music or anything. It's not going to be anything like, um, you know, it's not going to go against the grain. Don't worry. Uh, I shut down at times, but only came close to meltdown at once. I remember, signed book, dude. I know the signed book thing is doable. I know the gift you'll receive. Uh, I know the gift you'll receive. Hundred thousand subscribers. I got friends who passed two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, definitely. So the YouTube actually give you like a plaque when you hit hundred thousand subscribers, which is amazing. I need, I need to win. Dang it, um, Rowan. You know, like my book is super cheap on Amazon, right? Uh, what is the link between Asperger's and gaming? Um, I guess. Because gaming asks for technical ability and um, it, it makes you want to be a bit more like puzzle-minded. Um, so Asperger's like autism kind of fits that bill straight away. How to like solve puzzles, how to overcome problems. Um, I think that'd be pretty pretty cool. Um, where are we? My son has meltdowns not often, but I always try to talk to him. <clears throat> I'd love to do stuff. What he wants to do, it works pretty well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How does music affect you? Music affects me in a way where I feel awesome when I play music. I feel like um, I feel like the the relationship between yourself and music is when um, you feel that vibration of music, and music is all about numbers. And I love numbers. I love math. So music and math it has a uh, has a <coughs> relationship. Oh, give me just a second. My dog is Randy. Randall. Randall. Okay, come here. Good boy. Come on. Okay, okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about the uh, the delay there with uh, my dog Randall. Actually, I did a video with Randall, which should be up tomorrow. Either the video with Randall will be up tomorrow, or a vlog will be up tomorrow, um, which is going to be super, super awesome. Um, and it's all about um, you know dogs, autism, kind of like the pets and all that kind of stuff. And if they work, assisted dogs. What dog have I got? I've got a Jack Russell Terrier. Andy, come here. Come here. Come say hello to the internet. Stay. Good boy. Come here. You ready to say hello? Say hello, internet. Hello. Hello, sausage. Okay, so this is Randy. Randall is a Jack Russell Terrier. He's uh, nine years old in human years. And he's um, a Welsh Jack Russell Terrier. So he um, he's kind of like short leg, but he's really like muscly. And, and, and yeah, he's cool. He's cool. <laughs> How can I meet? Uh, well, I'm going to be doing meetups all around um, the US and the UK. I want to hear 100,000 subscribers. Hi, Andy. Oh, he's, <laughs> okay, good boy, and you go play. You go play. Good boy. There we are. So, uh, Randall's my BFF, and he just licked my nose. <laughs> anyway, so, Randall Squad. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Um, I just want to shout out to you guys, the Superheroes uh, Squad. You guys are amazing. Absolutely, Superheroes. I have a 
bunch load of new merch coming. I mean, like, oh my God, guys, I cannot wait. Uh, I'm really excited and I'm just so pumped and excited to have you guys see the new merch. Um, and it, it's just, it's just going to be dope. Oh, check this out as well. I have a new pillow. So I already have this one here, the subscribe one, but I've also got this pillow uh, here. Uh, I heard you you were near Wales recently. What? Tom Cox, I live in Wales. So I've got this 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 YouTube pillow. How cool is this? Um, I have a lot of YouTube stuff, obviously, because, you know, my job and stuff. But anyway, let's get on with it. I have a list of things. Basically, I wanted to go through like four like techniques for helping meltdowns. And uh, I thought we'd go through them within this live stream so we can have a chat about different ways and different things. And we can also go through some hacks that I've kind of come up with. Um, to help with those with those issues. Okay, so um, sorry, my beard's really really itchy because it's like super hot here. I'm gonna take my hat off. Okay, my hair's a bit crazy, so everyone just bear with me. Okay, so um, okay, where are we? Okay, please bear in mind my hair's a bit crazy. Okay, so recognizing the signs. So this is the first one. This is like tip number one. So if you are um, if you if you are with somebody who has Asperger's syndrome or like autism, like a diagnosis of an autism spectrum disorder, and uh, you're worried about them melting down then look at the signs like you know do they start kind of stimming before they melt down do they start freaking out are they going to start shouting do they get really really hot and bothered do this you know is there certain signs that you can tell that they're getting overstimulated or something like that um, to, to make you aware that they may be going to start melting down and when they start doing this um, you, you can kind of you can intervene and you'd be like oh, you know I'm going to sort this out because I know that this person is about to like melt down I know this person is not having a good time or whatever and by doing that you can help save the, the meltdown from happening um, and probably overcome the whole thing in general which would be super super awesome what's going on in my hair dang it some uh, classic subscribers here his intelligence is amazing and he also plays piano and guitar. Oh, that's awesome my partner has meltdowns though should be banging and next door neighbor complained officially any experience uh well i've never had experience of neighbors complaining um what exactly is a meltdown meltdown is an outburst of emotion uh built by um too much kind of built up emotion um because people with the autism spectrum conditions uh sorry randall, randall needs my attention because people with autism spectrum conditions have a hard time, um, you know, relating their um, their, their their emotions uh, to to like verbally into the world, it's difficult to come out and be like, oh, um, this is the issue and this is why I've got it. You know, it comes out in like a meltdown and outburst, it could be intense crying and thrashing about and like I hit my head and stuff. And it's really it's really bad. Um, I stopped pulling shots by meltdown. I oh, see that's a good so Tim F. That's a good one. So you already know how. Uh, do you have visual sensory issues? Um, yes, I do. Dan, do you carry a bag with things to calm you down? Um, that seems to help a lot. Yes, actually, um, I'm just going to get to that in a minute. That is on my list. Uh, oh, I have an idea. Could you do a video about tips on how to date somebody when you have autism? Uh, I did a video similar to this, not really about, specifically about dating, but it was about like relationships and autism, but maybe I could do another one. Um, hello, I'm Lee. I've asked for I'm a student nurse. Hey, Lee, how's it going? I'm interested in your thoughts of people who have Asperger's and working in healthcare and trigger symptoms of affected. I suppose you have to be aware of the surroundings that you're working in um, to know that, like, am I going to be triggered? So this is a story about me. I'll just tell you now really quickly. So I did a degree in chemistry. So I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a scientist. So I did a degree in chemistry um, and I can I graduated last year. And but officially I was, I was going to do psychology because I was interested in psychology. I'm interested in science in general, but I was going to do psychology. But my ASD development worker, who was like a key worker or like a social worker, um, he said to me, Dan, you know, if you're going to work with people in, 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 in healthcare or going to work with people in science and you're going to do stuff like psychology it's too close to a mental health um issue that may cause you more triggers and more harm along the way so we changed up my major as the americans call it to being chemistry um and then i i graduated with a, a degree in chemistry do you have a journal i actually got given a journal for my birthday and it was a it was a gift um but it's more like a um it's more like a planner journal. Um, I haven't written it yet because my handwriting is terrible, but I am going to write in this. I'm going to use it because I find this very, very, very good for doing what I'm doing, which is which is amazing, especially like YouTube and keeping on top of everything. And I actually have whiteboards on my walls now to help me with my projects and stuff like that. Sometimes I cannot figure out what causes my nine-year-old son to have meltdowns. Suddenly he'll be upset and it's difficult to figure out what triggered it. Hmm. So I will get to that in a minute. Um, this is a way you can help deal with that. 
uh, where are we now? Is it part of visual sensory processing when you can see LED lights flickering in your peripheral vision? I, I can't. I, I can see um, uh, strip lights. What are they called? Um, the cathode light tubes. I can see those um, flicker um, a, a lot. Like kitchen lights have them normally. I can see them flicker really badly, just normally visually, and in the on like the sides of my eyes. Uh, I get it with other lights as well, not so much LEDs. I've never come across it that much with LEDs, as far as I can think. And maybe it is LEDs, and I think that they're cathode lights. Maybe maybe that's the issues. I hate group conversations. Goodbye, a tragic transformer, Electra. Okay, see you later. No worries. How can I convince him to avoid triggers if the trigger is a game that doesn't work? Um, you have to have like okay, so you have to have a uh, like a plan A and a plan B, and this is one of the things that we. Uh, in my house do uh, so my partner and I um, we basically have a plan A and a plan B so the plan A is that I want to go and do this thing so in your case is playing this game but plan B is that hey if this game doesn't work this is the other option we're going to do okay but sometimes we have a plan C and a plan D because like A and B could fail so we have to have other plans and this is another hack of getting around um, losing it when routines don't go according to plan Working in oh, oh skip so many so many, sorry, fluorescent lights that is it that's it. Um, my son changed majors because he found a professor in his original major as arrogant. Mm. I hate driving at night due to all the lights. Yes, that is horrible. Do you have misophonia? I'm not familiar with misophonia, so if anyone wants to put in the chat box there what that actually is, I'd greatly appreciate the input. Sixty hertz on a monitor is terrible. Oh man, that is horrible. Uh, I hate those lights that make me disassociate, yeah. Yeah, that's what it's like. I never knew what it was for years. I told my doctor about it, and he just looked at me funny and brushed it off. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Because it, I can't stay in certain places too long, because it's like, you just, it, it flick like, the, the sides of your eyes, it, it kind of, it, it flickers really fast. And sometimes the lights are so bad that when you actually just look forward, you can see the can almost feel the room kind of flickering you know it's horrible and it's really bizarre you know like people with Asperger's syndrome almost um, uh, independently are the only people who can can experience this because typically people's brains the, the neurological paths in their brain don't have this it's it nuts it's like a it's the one time I realized like you get your diagnosis and you read your diagnosis paper but it's the time when you sit down and you realize you go wow I can see this thing that nobody else can and it sets you apart from the other people, and that's that's an interesting concept. Even though feeling different to other people is one thing, actually seeing something that people can't see that don't typically see, it's an unusual experience. Um, hey, I'm 12. I love all the help this channel gives me. Hey, Car uh, Car Binks. <laughs> it's like Char Char Binks. What we have. I love it. Car uh, Car Binks, you are awesome. Thank you so much for coming here. That's we world superhero squad. I actually love to drive at night because there are fewer people. That is true, but I find like it's not driving at night. It's, it's driving at twilight, they call it, where you have kind of a... you. It's it's not a... It's not pitch black, I mean, it's not really, really light. So there's less people on the road because they want to go home to dinner and see their families and stuff. But then it's kind of like... like it's, it's light enough to drive with just a bit of light on school. Um, Misophania miso is where... It is about selective sound sensitivity. Ah, yes, okay. So I hear certain words and like they make me, like they hurt. Certain words hurt me. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, but if you can relate to this, you can definitely let me know in this chat. It'd be awesome. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Most of the small sounds like eating noises. Um, yes, yeah, sometimes. My son will be 20 and he has no interest in his license. How can I encourage him? Wendy, it's like anything else, you know. Some people don't want to drive. Some people do want to drive. It's like kind of saying... Um, you know, if I was an archer and I loved going out and, you know, getting bows and arrows and arching and then my, and my kid uh, didn't um, want to arch it, it's nothing, it's nothing crazy. You don't have to force them to do it. It's just something that they may not want to do. Maybe the, your kid will want to take the bus or, or ride a bike or have friends take them around and lift and stuff. Maybe that's their preference. I have to rewind this, but hello there. Hey, how's it going? Driving at night in the rain is the worst. It is the worst. It's horrible. And like, I, I can't, I don't know why anyone would want to want to voluntarily do that. It's crazy. Um, oh, words, emotional pain. Yes. Oh, my dad gave me that username. That's uh, cool. What? Rish? Like near a power transformer, I can. Um, do you experience in certain places hearing like a high-pitched noise in your ears? Yeah, like all the freaking time. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. 
How do you feel about changes in your daily routine? What's your advice? Well, guys, I'm starting a vlog. So starting on Monday, which is the 27th, I think. Uh, Monday, I'm starting to vlog. I'll uh, be vlogging a week and then editing that down and releasing it on a Friday or Saturday. And what that vlog will be, will be my daily life and how I interact with it. You can see all my routines, all my changes, all the things that get me like super stressed out, all the things that kind of like, because I want to be really honest with you guys. I want to upload more videos and I want to get eventually into when I've hit like maybe 100,000, 200,000 subscribers, I want to do daily vlogging so you guys can see what my life is like every single day in those videos. Okay, so it'll be daily vlogging other than a Wednesday where you'll have, uh, sorry, other than a Thursday where you have uh, the normal Thursday videos. And on a Wednesday, I'll also be doing these live streams, <clears throat> excuse me. So every every day a video uh, of mainly vlogs, but then you'll have live streams and then the info videos on a Thursday. Um, and I feel like um, those are the best way to explain to you of all things because in my entire life, you know, I have all those things uh, that happen to me and it, it's kind of, it's how I am as a person. The only way for me to express that to you guys is to film it every day and show it to you what, what it's like. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, diagnosed three years ago. Hey, how's it going? tinnitus yes um, and the interesting thing about tinnitus is that that high-pitched noise you can hear once it's gone it's gone and what it is it's a hair inside your ear that's vibrating at a certain frequency and it when it when it goes away you hear it and the, the noise you're hearing is the hair snapping so it vibrates really rapidly bang and it snaps and that's what tinnitus is when you when you're breaking the hairs that are um, sending the noise frequency from your ear into your brain so you can understand that frequency um, and the, the hair is so thin and so small and so fragile that when it's overloaded with that frequency bang it snaps but you can hear that really high pitched noise right up until it dies so the sound of ringing in your ears or high pitched noises in your ears is the sound of that sound dying and you'll never hear that frequency ever again which is crazy the fluorescent lights used to my son's classroom so his teacher used to have some off to help with his account that's a cool idea that's a very very cool idea Yes, yoga helps. How many female athletes do you know? Uh, I know about, ooh, about seven or eight. Makes really quiet environment difficult. Uh, Dan, do you have any advice about friendships? I'm struggling with friends at the moment. Look, friends are like anything else in life. Um, they have, have to understand you, and if they understand you and they care about you, then they'll be friends forever. If they if they don't understand you, then they're not going to want to care about you, and they shouldn't be your friends. So you'll find people who are like, uh, that are, you find friends who are people who want to be around you because they care about who, who you are, basically. So I wouldn't worry about friends because it's something that, like, um, it's just something that happens with people who are uh, close to you. Um, and, you know, you'll, you'll find you'll find that the people who become your friends are the people who have been close to you the most out of all the time, the whole time you've been uh, friendly with them or knowing them. That's kind of cool. Do you play video games, Xbox, PC, PlayStation? I play Xbox. Box. I play in my iPad. I play Fortnite on my phone. Ah, I've got the loud the ringing in my ears right now. <laughs> it's ironic that we're saying that I can hear like high pitch noise in my ear right now. So that's kind of crazy. Um, thanks, Kakabinks. Ah, too many, too many uh, messages. I can't see anything. Great advice, guys. If you want to check the chat box, um, there's also uh, a bunch of links floating about. Uh, it's where you can donate to the channel. You can do a super chat here, so I can see and everybody else can see your your um, message here in the chat. The super chat is super cool. If you want to check it out, if you want to donate to the channel, all the links are going to be there. Um, and I always ask for donations on the channel because you know I'm I'm doing this full time and I want to get the best equipment, the best um, cameras, the best quality research, so you guys can have the best quality videos. So just bear that in mind. If you think, hey, you know, you want to back this channel in some way or support me, you don't have to. I'm not asking you to do anything. It's just that maybe you, we'd like to, and if you want to. The links will be in the chat box um, as soon as they, well, as soon as I can. What age did you get diagnosed? So I got diagnosed officially with Asperger's syndrome when I was 26, but I had um, a bunch of other, uh, I've had a bunch of other diagnoses along the way, you know, ever since I was a kid. So it's not a massive issue um, uh, that it was, it was late getting the diagnosis officially of Asperger's syndrome. I had all the other counterparts that could come over the parts all together uh, my entire life. So, so it wasn't, it wasn't a crazy shock. Um, I'm struggling to try and find someone to date. I wonder if there's an app for autistic people. Do you know what? There should be an app for autistic people to date, but I guess it's going to be open to people trying to take advantage of other people. So I don't know how you would kind of monitor it. What about family members who don't understand? Um, I have family members who don't understand. You kind of just have to deal with it. You know, you can't pick your family. Um, they're just people that, that you know, that are in your life, and, and that's fine. You, you just have to kind of, like, understand your position, I guess, w with them. 
Um, where are we now? Oh, I'm, I'm losing all the chat. Falling in here. Thank you for what you do, Dan. I appreciate your support, and you are an incredible person. You inspire me, Gemma. Autism at its finest grace. Thank you so much for the super chat. That actually means the absolute world to me. Not the fact that you donate it, that is amazing as well. But the fact that you um, find inspiration through me, which is what I always want to try and do. I always want to try and drive people to do something amazing with their, their gift of being um, neurodiverse on this channel. Embrace who they are, do something amazing and like just change the world. Because I know everyone who who is here can definitely change the world. You have the power, you have the mind, you have the ability. And I believe in you and you should believe in you. So go and do something amazing because like I absolutely just yeah that, that makes my day this is why i live for this is why i want to do the ask me world this is why i get up every single day and i sit at my desk and i make videos and i make information to try and change your life trying to improve people's lives trying to educate people and change the stigma and the social rubbish that autism has at the moment thank you so much for that um oh well how is your tummy since you were ill um i'm better i'm better i gotta go to the hospital tomorrow just as a checkup but i'm okay thank you only be subscribed for a little while and it just has been so helpful thank you so much for that uh lisa grit thank you cringy cringy my fiance is just now being diagnosed at 24 there's nothing cringy about that um craig cr cr craigie oh i get it sorry i'm, I'm reading things wrong see this is dyslexia dang it uh oh God, public buses, although, yeah, I know public buses don't like them. I have a puzzle game on my tablet, I love it. Um, <clears throat> Dan, do you, do you experience, sorry, Dan, do you experience of gender dysmorphia? Dan, do you have an experience, any experience with gender dysmorphia in people with Asperger's? I don't. Running late and changes like details make me lose it. They do, this, this is number one. So, okay, so moving, moving on to tip number two for avoiding autism meltdowns. Um, Remember what caused the meltdown this time, uh, and then the next time, avoid that situation. So, okay, put this in perspective. Say you want to try a new store, and you go to the store, um, and the store is a crazy busy one, right? And you get there, and you melt down, and you have a hell of a time, and you say, okay, never again. So when you go to want to do shopping next time, you know that, hey, I'm not going to go to this store, because last time I was here, I had a meltdown. So you know that that store is a trigger. So not okay, not just stores, but what anything it could be anything. Um, so when you want to have a uh, uh, when you have something like that, um, just remember that you can um, actually avoid a lot of them by by making sure that you know uh, what causes those triggers. Okay, so we've got five dollar here super chat. My biggest meltdown trigger is dealing with the police after an incident. People sometimes call the police when I'm in meltdown. How do I deal with this? Okay. Thank you so much, first of all, for the super chat. That's amazing. Thank you so much for donating to the channel. I am going to be releasing on my uh, website, theaspieworld.com, in about two or three weeks. It will be launching fully and officially with all the cool stuff on it. And one of the items we'll be selling on there for only for a couple of dollars is going to be like an autism alert card like this one. And basically, in this has all the details on Asperger syndrome, autism, and uh, how it affects you and how people of authority need to treat you. This is going to be the best way for you to deal with it. Because think about this, right? You know, when people who are epileptic... <clears throat> And they have like an epileptic seizure, they have a wristband or like a necklace that tells the authorities that they're epileptic so they know how to deal with them in a situation, right? So why don't we have this being autistic? So I want to change that and I want to make these cards that are going to be available for everybody that will be in their wallets and it's going to be super, super easy and slick. I hope that helps. Thank you for the donation. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we have a $20 um, a donation here from Amy McEwen. Um, and... Uh, she said, thanks. Uh, thank you so much for the donation. I can't believe that is the most generous donation I've ever seen in my entire uh, live streaming on here. Uh, you are awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. You really are a superhero from Superhero Squad. You rule. Bear with me a second. I'm just checking something on my website. Okay, bear with me just a second. Um, sorry guys, I'm having an issue with my site, I guess. Um, bear with me just a second. The donate link on my site doesn't work. Oh, that's really bizarre. Thank you. Somebody just messaged me now saying it doesn't work. I'm just going to send this to my community manager. Um, Josh, can you check this out? I've just sent you a tweet about it. He's on here working it. Um, so can you check out what this is about? Um, okay, cool. So... Where are we? Where are we going? Where are we going? Ah, I've lost it. Two dollars. Two for. Thank you so much for the two dollars there, or two euros, should I say? 
Um, that that's awesome. Uh, cool. Thank you for the thank you for the update. Whoever sent me the um, the update on the site, thank you so much for that. That's that's super awesome. Um, I'm just gonna uh, check my my back end here to make sure that everything's working on the donation side, so people uh, um, uh, can see the donation part. Um, I'm not entirely sure what is going on here. Um, that's really bizarre. Uh, oh, okay, give me guys, just give me a second. Uh, I'm just gonna search for something. I just I've got to add something right now. Uh, uh, ah, my goodness. Okay. Okay, I just gotta just gotta add something. Give me just one second. Okay, cool. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, I think we're we're done. So if anybody who's who's trying to donate then through the that portal uh, that was broken, you should be able to do it now. So let me know if it's working. Uh, Josh, if you can let me know if that's working, since we're on this live chat, being awesome superheroes like you guys are being superheroes, that'll be super, super mega awesome. Uh, my SDIT um, has helped me immensely with my mouth. I'm not sure what that is. Um, I tried to explain it to my boyfriend and he just said, you should, you just drive in the eye thing related to autism specifically. Sorry, um, Nana Tronia, can you say that again? I, I am not familiar with it. Um, what's your site? Uh, the site is the aspieworld.com. The site that people are trying to donate to is the Streamlabs, um, which is what we're using right now. Um, Josh, can you give them the, don the donation link so that they can see uh, if, if the donation thing is working? Um, I'm just gonna make sure that <clears throat> we're, we're all good here. Okay, give me just a second. Okay, I'm losing you guys. Where is my chat? It's going crazy. Uh, okay, cool. How to stop little kids from, from what? How did that happen? Watch your site. So the aspieworld.com for the website. The website will be up very, very soon. At the moment, it's just a blank page with a, with a video on it um, with all the links to my socials in it, but it will be a fully working web, well, it is a fully working website, but it's under a curtain right now, um, and you will have access to that soon. You can log in and make like a logging on there. It's gonna be super, super awesome. Um, we'll be selling some specific merch. This one specifically, actually. So. So there's two there's two types of merch there's two types of merch launching one is the Aspie World merch where we have some really cool autism related clothing which is like logos and, and stuff like that and cool slogans which are gonna be super awesome and I've listened to everything you guys have said in the past and you guys are gonna love it so much I'm so excited to show you guys the new merch and then the second one is a, a, a an autism clothing brand hey Jim F thank you so much for the the donation there <laughs> that's a cool little smiley face you are awesome thank you so much for that um. So this is a clothing brand that I'm launching with Naomi, my partner, um, and we basically are doing the uh, uh, a a clothing line, especially for autistic people. This is um, soft cotton clothing um, with no tags on the inside, uh, and it's this is the logo. It's embroidered on so that you don't have to worry about um, like uh, the the pattern fading, the color fading. It's going to stay consistent, and um, this is lightning bulb. And it's it's this this is the logo. This is our make, and this is a really comfy hoodie. I love this right now. So it's going to be one of the main things we want for this is that it's going to be consistent. So if you want to um, if you want to buy these, you know, if you if you buy this hoodie and you like it, you want to buy it all over and over again. One of the problems I've got is when I like clothing, I buy it, and then the store has a new range, and they don't sell the old ones anymore. But we want to make it consistent, so you can constantly buy the same clothing. The other one is that it's not going to have any tags, so it's not going to irritate the back of your neck or the inside of your hair. And we're going to de-sticker it all inside because sometimes you get. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes you get little stickers on the inside of clothing, and it really, really bugs me. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the consistent clothing line. So this is our brand. This is going to be Lightning Bulb, and Lightning Bulb is the little logo here, and I love it. And um, Naomi came up with this, my partner, and she is the 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 pioneer behind that. But also, we're also making autism toolkits. So if you're a parent with a kid on the spectrum, or a partner with a partner on the spectrum, or a family member with somebody on the spectrum, or you are anything to do with autism professionally um, uh, or, or socially, then we are going to be selling toolkits, uh, and the toolkits are going to be digital downloads or physical downloads, uh, physical kits that we can send you um, to help with that. Claire Bear, dream it, you can do it. Thank you for the 50 Australian dollars. That is the most amazing donation I have ever seen here on this channel. That is just outrageous. Thank you so much. That's just like the the craziest donation ever. You guys literally are the Aspie World Superhero Squad. I mean, without you guys, 
what would I do? I mean, that's just amazing. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Um, where are we? What was I going to say? So, um, yeah, so we're going to dream it. You can do it. We're going to do it. This channel is going to be ah, just social change. We're going to be changing stuff um, when we have, like, uh, you know, new clothing lines that we're going to be able to offer people with autism clothing that they're going to like. We're going to be able to offer people with autism um, toolkits for the house, scheduling boards that you can use in the home, in school, in the office, at work, wherever you want to do it. We're going to be offering um, audio downloads, which are going to be amazing to help you sleep, to help you calm, help you relax, help you stim. Um, we're going to be also offering you a discount with a, a shop that sells stim toys. Um, we're also going to be releasing um, digital downloads so you can kind of like print out sheets. We're going to have checklists. There's going to be all kinds of cool stuff that's on this website. It's all there and ready to go, but we're just waiting for the right time to, to launch it because we don't want to launch it prematurely. There's also going to be a wish list on the site. So if you go on there and you like something on there, you can just click um, that love heart and put it all into your wish list. And then at, like, you know, in a month's time, whatever, you can log into my website, you know, on your portal and then buy whatever you want. It's going to be so, so awesome. I love it. And I'm so, so, so excited to share it with you guys. So remember, theaspieworld.com very, very soon. If you want to sign up to my mailing list, make sure you do. The link is in the description of all my videos. Um, and make sure you sign up to the mailing list. So by signing up to the mailing list, you'll be the first person to get anything that comes out because that is the first thing that goes out. There is an app going to be coming out. We're working on an app. Um, the app will have to do a lot of different things. This is one of the reasons why the app, we haven't had an app out yet, but we will do soon. What's really interesting is my son's more people who go on VR, um, interact with people on VR. Do you know what? I love VR. Growing up as a child, my absolute passion in the 90s was virtual reality, but you can imagine what it was like. Rubbish in the 90s. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry, I'm just putting my phone back over here. Uh, thank you so much for the donations. Uh, you guys are just amazing. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, yeah, the tags are crazy. They're like, um, they're, they, they, they're the horrible. Uh, I'm so glad that the merch is soft and going to be consistent because my son that has autism will only wear a few different outfits. Yes, definitely. And this is another thing. So they're, they're all black and they're all grey and they're all white. So they're going to be very, very bla bland, plain uh, clothes that are going to be uh, super soft. I love wearing this hoodie. I was wearing it in the video before, but I didn't want to kind of get everyone really excited about it because I know Lightning Bolt is is mine and my, my partner's like baby and it's going to be launching soon. So there's going to be two brands. There's going to be T-A-W or Tau, which is the Aspie world. So Tau, the brand Tau is my merch line, which is going to have like um, the superhero squad t-shirts. We're going to have autism t-shirts, autism related t-shirts, which you guys are going to love. Honestly, the sick designs no one's ever done on the internet before. Um, and then also we have the lightning bolt kind of clothing, which is super soft and stuff. Because I feel like a lot of people who are um, autistic YouTubers release merch, but they don't release merch that actually speaks to their audience. One, it's not merch that um, their audience like because it's not related to the subject or the things that they're interested in. And the other one is that because, you know, it's not soft and stuff. So this is why we're changing the game. Every single time we do something, we do something amazing. We're going to do it differently. We're going to do it like bigger and better every single time. I'd rip the tag off, cutting them left. Yeah, it's, yes, that is right. It leaves like a sharp razor edge if you don't do that. Okay, so... Luke Moto, me, you, and the guy. Okay, so in this chat right now is my cousin, Luke Moto, who's also a YouTuber. Please check him out. Uh, Luke is going to be working with me on some stuff. Um, uh, I'm trying to get him to become my cameraman uh, and work with me on my channel. I'm going to help him grow his channel. Um, but please check him out. He wants to, like, box me uh, because uh, <laughs> the Logan Paul and KSI fight is going on this Saturday. Um, and there's, like, an undercard for people to uh, kind of take part and do different fights. So... Um, I'm not really a fighter, I'm more of a pacifist. Uh, maybe we could do like a, a cake making bake off or something. There you go. Um, does it come off in different colors? It does come in different colors. They're going to be a selection of different colors. I'll be on the website, you'll be able to see them. Uh, I am bookmarking these sites. This is amazing. Um, cool. So, yeah, uh, so the aspieworld.com is going to be the website where this will be. Uh, be there. Uh, an Aspie chat app would be amazing. Ooh, that would be interesting. Got to go lunch. Thanks, a Amy. Thank you so much for the donation. You're a superhero, and I will see you soon. Um, should you tell your friend that you have Aspergers? Yeah, just tell them. Say, look, I got Aspergers. It's who I am. Why wouldn't you? We could help each other out a lot. I don't know a single person with autism in real life. Uh, I know quite a few actually. Have you ever checked out the channel Fathering Autism? Yes, me and Asa are good friends. Um, we're actually doing a video together soon. Um, and me and Asa did this. Uh, I'll show you what what it looks like. Um, basically, we're doing a video together, and because because of that, uh, Asa had this uh, had this this 
thing made. Look, you can see this now. Um, let me show you guys. I don't know if you can see that. It's cool. <laughs> check us out. Check us out. Check us out. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that is um, that is that is definitely happening. Uh, it's something that we're working on at the moment. Um, but you know, me and Asa, um haven't done uh, haven't done it yet. We will be doing it very, 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 very soon. Um, where am I? Dang it! I'm losing <laughs> I'm losing everything. There's too many chats going on. Uh, but me just a second. Uh, okay, cool. You are a lover, but a fighter. What? Uh, my sob got a love father and Watson, such a great family, so inspiring. Yeah, they're amazing. I'm actually going to try and get to... I know I know Kevin Chapman very, very well. If you're not familiar with Kevin Chapman, I actually did a video collab with him in my video collabs playlist, so go and check that out. Me and Kevin are good friends. Uh, we did a video together once. We're going to do another video together again. Um, and I'm also trying to get out to Florida sometime in the middle of next year. I'm in VidCon again in June. So I'll be in LA, but I'm going to try to get to Florida at some point, maybe for Playlist Live, and uh, maybe do a video with uh, Father and Autism there. Uh, my son got autism and he started school. Cool, that's awesome. Um, what was I going to say? I can't believe how generous you guys have been with the donations. Every single donation you guys put to this channel helps massively because what it does is it gives me the opportunity to buy uh, better um, equipment, better sites, more servers, uh, quicker um, uh, loading times for things. The site's going to be way better. We're going to be able to um, uh, apply for different um, like social uh, change grants or social change um, not grants, sorry, social change uh, applications. So where we can try and push through better things, better quality for people with autism and Asperger's in uh, the government. And um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, cool stuff happening. So every penny helps and you have no idea how much it does actually help. So I just want to say thank you for everybody who's donated so far. You guys are just absolute mega heroes. Do you trust doctors? I do. Um, how do you deal with close people not believing you have autism i don't if people don't believe me that i have autism it's not my issue it's their issue so I just leave them to it um seeing somebody who didn't know they had it online and realizing i didn't know you may know more people who have autism in your life yeah i definitely think so how old are you when you got diagnosed with asperger's i was 26 years old will your merch be available outside the uk yes my my merchandise the autism toolkits all the downloads um everything on there uh, the resources, the merchandise, and the 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 discount for um, fidget spinners and stuff like that. All of those uh, Century Toy stuff, everything will be available outside the UK, internationally, inside the UK. We ship all around the world globally. It's going to be amazing. Should I come out to my family that I'm gay? Dude, look, it's up to you. If you feel like it will change something, and if you want to tell them, then tell them. It's like down to you. It's a personal thing, isn't it? I mean, I wouldn't say um, that you should hide who you are. I believe that we should all be who we are because who we are is beautiful. And if you don't, you know, believe in that, then you need to start believing in it and believing that you're important. So it's down to you. If you think that it's good to tell them, then tell them. If you think that it won't change anything or you shouldn't tell them, then don't tell them. It's it's totally cool, whichever way. Stim. Yeah, stim, uh, stimuli, self stimulatory behavior. How do you deal with people that treat you differently because you have autism? Uh, I try not to. I try to get people to treat me just like a typical guy. What are the conditions we're diagnosed with as a child? ADHD, um, OCD, uh, dyslexia, uh, dys maybe dyspraxia, short-term memory loss, um, detachment issues, agoraphobia, um, hyperactivity, anxiety, social anxiety. Do you still have problems with eye contact? Yes, I do. Well, I was wondering about the autumn card. Do you need it translated? Um, I would love to have it in multiple languages if you want to um, email me about translating. Um, yeah, so email me, theaspyworld at gmail.com. Well, that's a long list. I know it's a long list. It's, it's kind of like what I built up over the years of being, uh, you know, all along the way. Thank you so much, uh, Mitch, Mitch Max one Thank you for joining the mailing list. Um, you joined the Reddit. Oh, cool! That is awesome. Thank you for joining. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Tell your mum first. Uh, cool. That is amazing. You guys are awesome. What is autism card? Forgive me. Um. Okay. So atypical season two. Okay. So many of you guys may not know this, but when I, my channel last year was a lot smaller than it is this year, and I consulted with uh, Netflix on Atypical, which is a TV show about people with Asperger syndrome, or about a guy with Asperger syndrome on Netflix. Be it 
it shows a really over the top stereotypical person with Asperger's syndrome. He has all the traits. He has every issue going, uh, and it's not like that in real life. Um, you know, some people have some of the issues. Some people have all of them. Some people don't have that many. Um, anyway, so uh, we I consulted with them, and the, the show was awesome. There's a season two coming out, and um, I've been talking to Netflix again uh, about. I, I consulted with them again to alter the things for season two from season one um so i'm actually getting a previewed screening from the season two one very very soon before it goes out to the general public um this is an autism card this is an autism alert card these will be available on my website in probably a nicer color than this um and it's a card that you um you keep in your wallet and uh, it tells you on one side it says autism alert and on the other side it'll have information about how to deal with someone who has autism um, so authorities people live like in in authority if you get pulled over by the police and they don't understand you stuff like that kind of like you know, when epileptics have um when epileptics have issues and then they have a fit when they're out they have like a wristband that tells them that they're epileptic and things like that my mom told my i told my mom i was gay and she laughed and said no you're not well maybe you should tell her again do you feel like you have to shake hands with people even though you don't want to because it's socially unexpected behavior? Um, I don't know. DJI get that. What? What's the email? What email? If you have to make eye contact, what does it feel like to you? It feels like someone's reaching inside my soul, pulling my heart out through my nose, and I'm standing naked in front of every single person I've ever known in my entire life. Well, the card is great. Yeah, the card is awesome. My teacher knows I have autism, still get very upset at making eye contact. Have you got any idea I would respectfully tell them not making eye contact? I've got a better idea. Look at the cheek here. So don't look at the eyes, just look at their cheek here. It makes them all look at their head there. It makes them feel like you're having eye contact with them, but you're not actually not. It solves both those issues. Will meltdowns always happen throughout life? Yes. Sometimes they get worse as you get older. I'm sorry to break that to you. Oh, I know that. They trial, trialed it in my area. I remember it. Ever watch Professor T? No. Okay, so... Um, the third tip here for dealing with um, uh, autism meltdowns would be be prepared. So one of the things that somebody mentioned in the chat earlier was, was take stim toys with like a fidget spinner or something that you know you like to fidget with or your iPhone with you wherever you go. So if you start to feel like you're melting down, you can actually go and you know play a game on your phone or you can fidget with something or you can have that thing that you like doing. Maybe it's a snack. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something that you stim with. But make sure you're prepared. That's a really, really good point. Cool tip, going to try that with Sun. Awesome. Um, what is an autistic meltdown? An autistic meltdown is where somebody gets overstimulated by sensory input or emotional input um, or physical input or whatever. It could be any type of input and then they just melt down. It could be, um, you know, an outburst of emotion. It could be thrashing about, crying. It could be coming up in a ball, hitting their head. I mean, I hit my head. I've broken both of these hands. I've broken this hand twice, this hand once, this wrist once. I've broken uh, a toe on each foot. Um, just crazy stuff. Dan, if you see an at at the start of a name, then don't read it. We're talking amongst ourselves. Uh, Craigie J, sorry, um, I didn't mean to write the uh, say the at. I hate when people, Dan, I look at them, it triggers a meltdown. It does, it's horrible. Were you just talking about Netflix problem? I ASD just missed the first part of live. Could someone please tell me what it was? Sorry. Uh, good news, I'm off the Comic Con in October in London. I was, Mitch, I was actually, I appeared in Comic Con in London last October. I was doing a, I did a panel talk there, so that was kind of cool. I'm going to do an sitting meetup. I'd love to see all your faces. Um, it's a shame that my channel wasn't this big last year because then I could have invited you all down to that talk I was doing there. Um, yes, I was, Steph, sorry, I was talking about Atypical. I was saying that um, Netflix um, consulted with me last time, so I had an early screening of Atypical through Netflix, and then I also consulted with them to tell them what they did wrong. Wrong, or not wrong, but how they can improve, sorry, um, for season two. And now I'm going to have an early screening for season two, so hopefully it should be pretty cool. Ouch. Uh, fidget spinners are awesome. They are. Professor T, character in OTT, autism, but never mentioned, mentioned it in the show. How do you get others to understand that it's not your fault? And that we, I don't understand what that means. What, what correctly changed in your life when you got diagnosed Asperger? How does the diagnosis help? Um, it gave, allowed me to gain access to social support from the government. That was that was number one. And then the second one was when I I went back because I had no qualifications leaving high school because I wasn't able to do the subjects because I didn't know my learning type and they weren't able to help me and I didn't have the diagnosis back then. So I was just kind of checked in the corner with like the um, the lower class kids, I guess, are the better ways to say. I don't know. Anyway, so having no qualifications, never been to university. 
when I had my diagnosis, I was able then to apply for university with the with the help that I needed to get there. And I tell you, like, if I didn't have the help that I had, I would never be able to do my degree. It was phenomenal, and everybody who did it helped me with uh, just absolute blessing to me. I'm worried that I'm going to live in protected accommodation uh, because I suck at keeping myself. Do you experience any advice on this? Um, I, yes, Jess, I, I understand what you mean. I know you're worried about it. I always feel like having living in those kind of conditions uh, is best for you because it's best for you to do those things another thing is that um i live with my partner and without her i don't think i could have lived on my own because i live with my parents until i was 30 and then i moved out and lived with my my partner so you know th- th- i have to be with somebody i can't live my own unfortunately um i feel like a diagnosis can help anybody access help that they may need dan your video on anxiety tricks giant game changer the three breaths to calm down. She listened to you seven years old and got her moments. I thought, yeah, thanks, Claire. I mean, that was that's awesome. I love those tricks. That hack video was awesome. I love doing hack videos. <clears throat> okay, so um, trial and error. This is the last. This is the last thing I'll talk about about meltdowns and prevention. Trial and error. So basically, try different techniques. Try like taking a, a bag full of like stim toys or things that you like. Try taking an iPad with you when you go out. Try avoiding sh- stores. If you go to the store and there's lights there, try wearing sunglasses. So it's all about trial and error. Try and things, see if they work. And if you don't, if you don't like make a note of those things and see what do work and what doesn't work, then you'll never overcome them. But the good thing is if if you're if you're doing your best, you're learning and you're overcoming, you will improve the conditions. You will never cure something, but you can definitely improve those conditions. And that is perfect. <clears throat> oh I would not recommend BBT. I don't know what that means. Big bang theory. Oh the nightmare, low battery will catch up in recording. Okay Tim, take care. Thank you. Oh Tom, sorry, thank you so much for coming. You don't look older than 24 to me. Then again, I'm terrible at determining ages. Me too. I can't determine anybody's age. It's terrible, isn't it? I try to wear sunglasses, but my mum makes it take them off. Well, Jessica, maybe tell your mum how they help you, and maybe she'll think differently. I find stim ties are expensive. They can be expensive. That is why I'm giving everybody a 15% discount. Um, Josh, do we have the discount link here? Uh, are we waiting to, to put it into the website? If you have the discount link and... Um, just put it into the chat so everyone can uh, can go on there. So basically, we teamed up with Happy Hands Toys. So if you if you buy the toys through the link that I provide, then they give you a fifteen percent discount on the toys. Nia Shan Designs thirty five. Um, why are you saying thirty five? What what's thirty five? I'm pretty good at guessing ages. <clears throat> no, I'm thirty five. For my life. No, you're not. Nia's not. Th- what? No. I know Nia in real life, IRL, and she's not fifty five. Is she? Weird. My son has huge issues with physical contact and f- and feeling trapped. It's cut meltdowns. Could this be part of ASD? Yes, it definitely is part of ASD. Uh, one of the things that I don't like doing, I don't like people touching me when I'm too too hot. I don't like people touching me in general. I don't like people touching me when I'm sneezing, when I'm coughing, when I'm going sick, um, when I'm blowing my nose, um, when I'm thinking about stuff. I don't like people touching me. It, it completely throws me off. It feels like I've just been checked into a box. I know it sounds a bit dramatic, but that's what it feels like. So I avoid all of those things. My boyfriend is 36, definitely has Asperger's syndrome, never got diagnosis and therefore suffers a lot of consequences of never having been given the tools he needed. How can I help him get access? Um, you need to go see a clinical psychologist or an autism specialist and get a diagnosis. I don't remember people's names, I remember their faces though. I don't remember faces either, I remember I remember people's voices. BBT, Sheldon and OCT for autism. Do you feel do you feel like down by schools you offended and not recognised your ASD? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I was started high school in 1997, so like back then nobody knew what Asperger's was in Wales where I live. So I don't blame the school system for not picking up on it because they didn't know and they didn't have the expertise back then. Same, I hate people touching me. Jess, I say that people, if you, okay. So uh, another example, I get in trouble with the law, work, family stuff, but I never intentionally do anything to harm others. No, definitely. I don't like people or things touching my head. Voices, no way, me too. I hear the voices I always remember. Yeah, definitely, that's it. I have to see a specialist to get a diagnosis. Um, been waiting t- over t- over 12 months for Ollie to have a proper assessment. Just had a letter saying it's going to be another 15 months. Um, Nia, have you reached out to Autistic UK to see if they have any um, any quicker ways of doing it? Or actually, no, no, no. 
uh, go to um, ASD Info Wales. So type in ASD Info Wales and reach out to Mel. And they will be able to uh, hook you up with the right clinical psychologist to probably help speed this process up if you're not getting anywhere. Um, I did a I did the opening launch for their company. I did a talk for them uh, in in Wales. Uh, it was crazy. It was like 200 people. It was a crazy talk. And they had loads and loads of fun. And they hooked me up with an occupational therapist afterwards. So they can definitely open some doors there. Any plans to start speaking engagements with schools and law enforcement and how to handle meltdowns autism yes indeed my website will be offering training to law enforcement educational establishments and anybody who wants training on autism aspects i hate honking cars i can't honk cars properly okay <laughs> so my girlfriend always has a thing she says to me okay honk the cat tell someone you're happy or honk the cat tell someone you're sad well she keeps telling me that i'm doing the wrong i'm doing the wrong honk so like i, I like she thinks that like I do happy beeps when I'm angry or I do angry beeps when I'm happy. I don't know, man. How are the different beeps? What is that about? Who else can relate that there's what different beeps? Come on. <sighs> what are you afraid of except cold pizza? Um, I was afraid of flying, but I overcome my fear of flying um, by learning about how planes stay in the air, which is quite amazing. Um, what am I scared of? I'm scared of failing at life, I guess. I'm scared of not doing the things that I want to do with my life. I think that scares the bejesus out of me. I'll talk to you about this another time, Dan, but I've emailed our local MP about the lack of support. Um, yeah, I worked I worked with our local MP as well. I work very closely with our local MP, to be honest with you. Near, um, me and Albert actually are friends, and I work with the Labour Party. I'm a member of the Labour Party. I'm, I'm, a, member of, I'm a member of Momentum as well. So um, uh, I definitely think that ASD, ASD Info Wheels will help you. Um, near, oh, a beep is a beep, man. I know it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. Um, what different beeps in cars? I've never heard of it. I know, I don't understand it. Would you ever consider doing an autistic podcast? Yes, I did an autistic podcast, right? Um, I, di I did one, I did the autistic podcast on SoundCloud, right? I did it with my friend. Um, the Autistic Genius so I'll put this link here for you so you guys can listen there's only one podcast we're going to do another one but I don't know if we if we ever will um, but it was good fun I mean it was it was a good thing I do like podcasts so maybe I'll do another one sometime um, cool thanks for that I also have the fear of failure I take pride in my accomplishments and achievements definitely dude you know like this is the thing I always say that I always want to do something amazing so right now my, my YouTube channel is growing every single day we're at 50,000 subscribers about to hit 51,000 um, I um, I have a I'm a published author on, on, a, on a publisher I have a book out in three languages and an audio book I got a bestseller in the US I got a bestseller in the UK I have a degree in chemistry um, I, I have a CD out in Japan my band Straight Jacket Legend uh, are signed to two labels they're signed to Less Than Jake's label in the US which is a huge ska punk band and they were signed to a label in um, in Japan and we have a, label, a, a CD out there and we actually got number 5 in the newcomers charts in Japan and that album was next to Sun 41, Blink-182 and Green Day this was crazy, it was a crazy experience so I'm proud of the achievements that I, I, can, uh, I can accomplish when I put my mind to it and you focus on goals and I'm all about focusing on goals and putting your mind to something because we are all capable of doing amazing things, you just have to believe in yourself and say I can do it, don't look at the competition don't look at other people's failures look at what you've done that has failed in the past and learn from those things because we don't fail in life we see we test we test it does that work no it didn't work so we do something else it's not a failure it's a test of what does and doesn't work <clears throat> josh can you put a link to my book in the okay it's already done the link there so that my book has become the force nine lessons how to live as a jealous master um What's the discount code for Happy Hands? There is no discount code per se. When you click on the link, it automatically adds a 15% discount to your purchase from that link. Um, the link also, anybody watching this on the replay will notice that the link for the Happy Hands toys 15% off is in the description of the video. Also, if any parents are out here wanting to have Autism Parenting Magazine, I can give you 50% off Autism Parenting Magazine with the code and the link in the description below again. So um, I just love giving you guys discounts because it's, it's, just, it's just cool. It makes me happy. It makes you, makes you guys um, happy. I don't know. So, yeah, whatever. Krista, how's it going? Well, all the price... It says American. Uh, it's an American company. That's why the price is American. My band is called Straight Jacket Legends.
Uh, I don't know. Tomorrow's video is going to be hopefully one of two videos. If I can, if if the video looks good, I filmed the video and it's ready to go up. Now it's either going to be assisted therapy for pets, so like dogs and cats, how they how they can help people with autism and Asperger's syndrome, or it's going to be a vlog from LA when I went to VidCon, which is amazing. So, how do you set it to the UK? I'm not entirely sure. Um, uh, you'll have to um, speak to the company about that, the actual company, Happy Hands Toys, because I don't control their website. I just know of it. I got a lot of meltdowns. I didn't get diagnosed for ASD, but it took an older guy cap and threw it on the table just because he shouted continually when he noticed his shouting was giving me necessary sensory issues. Ah, no, that's not good. Um... Back on laptop, quick question. Six-year-old tends to tap, be quiet, tactile a lot. Is this going I get pu punched a lot as his dad. Um, yeah, I mean, like, you know, lashing out is a way of, um, of, of an outburst of emotion because of the lack of communication between... Um, uh, the, the the dissociation I can't um, hi um Eri uh, the, the dissociation between having like that that conscious effort saying I know what my emotions are and I'm gonna put those emotions out to you so that's the, where it comes from I can start my senior year in high school okay guys so basically um I'm gonna uh, end the uh, end the live stream here this has been super awesome I hope you've learned some stuff um, from me uh, and from uh, everybody else in this chat because we're a community around here we are doing things completely different to anybody else on the internet because this is like a channel for the superhero squad the people with ASD to make something different of themselves and be a community and build it up so if you guys are not already subscribed and it's the first time you've seen this video make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you become a part of this awesome family if anybody enjoyed this live stream Give it a thumbs up. Put it, uh, click the thumbs up button on this video because every thumbs up helps me, helps this channel, and helps you guys grow as a community and have, have authority and be a voice for change in this world. Um, we're going to be here again next Wednesday for another live stream at exactly the same time. You guys have been absolutely awesome. The Ask World Superhero Squad is larger, bigger, faster, and better than ever. You guys are killing it every single day, crushing it. Check out our Discord. Check out our Reddit. If you want to donate, there is a bunch of donate links here as well. So. Yeah, thank you for the support and everything you guys do. Absolutely amazing. Much love. Take care and I will see you guys in the next stream. Peace.